much you need to earn to afford rent in each state. How much would you need to make in order to rent in every state? Well, luckily for you, we're here to tell you. Why? Because we love our viewers. And why don't you show some love back? Hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell as well. According to Business Insider, the demand for rental apartments is at its highest since the 1960s. There are a few reasons for why that is. One being that millennials, the largest generation since baby boomers, are desperate to buy homes. Another reason could be that many Americans, especially poorer people, haven't felt the effects of the economic recovery and may not be able to rustle up the funds for a down payment. Business Insider reports many are struggling to find homes. Regardless, it's getting harder and harder for average Americans to afford a two-bedroom rental in the U.S. Ideally, you don't want to be spending more than a third of your monthly income on rent. But sadly, that's not the reality. In reality, the truth is a little bit more stressful and upsetting to your bank account. Unless you're a plastic surgeon living in North Dakota. According to Thrillist, rents are rising more and more in cities across the states and are expected to climb by 1.7% nationally this year. Thrillist notes that there are about 80 million hourly workers over the age of 16 in the US as of 2015. It's worth taking a look at just how much hourly employees need to earn to be able to rent a two-bedroom apartment without spending a third of their income. The National Low Income Housing Coalition compiled a list of states demonstrating the required hourly rate. Some may shock you, while others might seem to be expected. According to Thrillist, the statistics may vary per real estate market, but the dimensions of what labor entails don't. The average. Thrillist writes that, according to the National Low Income Housing Coalition study, the average wage needed to rent a two-bedroom home in the states is $20.30 an hour. Renting in California If you want to move to California and plan on renting a two-bedroom place, you best hope you're making at least $29 an hour. We can probably assume it's because of the great weather and all the awesome stuff you can do there. Disneyland, anyone? Renting in Alabama If you aren't up for the hustle and bustle of LA, maybe consider moving to Alabama, where you need to earn almost half the rate of California. In order to get a two-bedroom, you'd have to make about $14 an hour. Renting in New York The Big Apple is another expensive city. In fact, New York has a reputation for having expensive apartments that tend to be the size of your current kitchen. You'll need to make about $27 an hour for a two-bedroom. Renting in Iowa Another state that doesn't require a bigger income is Iowa. You'd need to make about $14 an hour to afford a place with two bedrooms. Renting in Hawaii Hawaii is amazing for vacations, but after seeing that you'd have to make about 34 bucks an hour to afford the rent there, we're good with just vacationing there for a week or so. Renting in Maryland. The state of Maryland is also pretty up there with New York City. You'd have to make about 27 bucks an hour in order to have the opportunity to rent a two bedroom. Renting in Texas The Lone Star State is pretty decent when it comes to renting. You'd only need to make about 18 bucks to get a two-bedroom place. Heck, with ranching, football, and barbecue, that doesn't sound so bad. Renting in Nevada If you want to live near Las Vegas, then you're going to have to make a decent amount of money. It's about 18 bucks an hour for a two-bedroom place. Sure, it would be cool to live close to Sin City, but then again, what else is there to do in Nevada? Renting in Florida Not sure why you'd want to live in the Australia of the United States. <laughs> Just kidding, we love you Florida. But if you do, then you'll have to make about 20 bucks an hour. We can get on board with the good weather and the great Cuban food, but we're not so sure about the alligators. 
renting in Arkansas. We had to Google other names for Arkansas because we honestly don't know much about it. What we do know about the natural state is that it's pretty cheap to rent there. You'll only need to make about 13 bucks an hour to rent a two bedroom place. Cool, you can go see the art at the Crystal Bridges Museum of American Art. Renting in West Virginia. A state that's kind of in the north and cheap is good old West Virginia. If you only make 13 bucks an hour, you too can live in the second state named Virginia in the entire US of A. Speaking of which, renting in Virginia. We guess this is East Virginia? Nevertheless, to live in the frustratingly named state, you'll need to make about 22 bucks an hour. Wow, that's a jump from its Western counterpart. We can only assume it's that way because Virginia is by the sea. Renting in Massachusetts. You want to live in Boston with all the other wicked smart Pats fans. Well, for the pleasure of being within the same state as Fenway Park, you'll need to make at least 26 bucks an hour. Sounds like a whole lot, but the city is beautiful. It's rife with history and clam chowder to die for. Renting in Colorado. Ah yes, the awesome ranges of the Rockies. The cool mountain air blowing through your hair. For the pleasure of all this, you'll need to make an hourly wage of 21 bucks per hour. Fun fact, Colorado is actually the most expensive city to live in if you decide to live in the middle of the country. Renting in Ohio. The Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, the Baseball Hall of Fame, the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Ohio sure does have a lot of halls of fame. If you want to live by all of this history, you'll need to make at least 14 bucks an hour. Renting in Pennsylvania. Our writing team really loves the Steelers, so they would love to rent in Pennsylvania. If they really want to move out there, they'll need to make at least 18 bucks an hour. For cheesesteaks, American history, and it always being sunny there, you can count us in. Renting in New Jersey. If you want to hang out with the crew on the shore, you're going to have to make about 27 bucks per hour. Well, you'll also have to factor in your expenses for partying, tanning, and the gym. If you want to live in Jersey, you have to live Jersey. Renting in Minnesota. Here's an interesting fact. The year America got its independence is the exact amount of money you'll need to make hourly in order to live in Minnesota. That number, for all our non-American viewers, is $17.76. Renting in North Dakota. All right, we're going to do both the Dakotas now. In order to live in Northern Dakota, around Fargo, Theodore Roosevelt National Park, and the International Peace Garden, you'll need to make an hourly wage of about $16. Renting in South Dakota. Now we move down south to the Mount Rushmore State, good old South Dakota. For the pleasure of being around Badlands National Park, Crazy Horse Memorial, and the little-known tourist attraction called Mount Rushmore, you'll need to make at least 14 bucks an hour. On the one hand, it would be cool to live near Mount Rushmore, but on the other, you'll probably see it once and go, well, that's definitely Mount Rushmore. Renting in Kentucky. Home of some of the finest fried chicken in the land, you'll need to make about $14 an hour in order to live in this great state. Interestingly enough, you'll need $20 for a bucket of the Colonel's awesome chicken in Kentucky. So about an hour and a half of work. Worth it? We think so. Renting in Mississippi. The state with the name that's really easy to spell, if you know the song also known as the Magnolia State and the Hospitality State. You'll need to make at least $14 an hour. It's cheap to live there and the state is filled with all sorts of historical museums. Renting in Tennessee. Graceland, that big old pyramid in Memphis, Nashville, the bachelorette party of the country. 
For the satisfaction of living in this awesome state, you'll need to make at least $15 an hour. And so our list of hourly income you'll need to rent in every state in the country ends. What did you think of our list? Did we represent your state all right? Let us know in the comments section below how much you pay for rent in your state. Enjoyed this video? Hit the like button and share with your friends. Also, subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.